Hi, Mr. Unkert here, and I'm looking over the assignment called Divide Polynomials with Remainders. So in this first example, we'll probably cover one example per video because these problems tend to be a little bit longer. Uh, and in this first example, we have a of x equals 2x to the fourth plus 7x cubed plus 2x squared plus 2x minus 3, and b of x equals 2x squared plus x plus 1. We're going to divide a by b, and we're going to write it in this form where we have q of x plus the remainder um, over b of x. Okay. So let's set that up. All right. And be nice if I could draw a straight line, but we're dividing 2x. To the fourth plus seven x cubed plus two x squared. Uh, plus 2x minus 3. Okay. Um, and we're dividing it by 2x squared. plus x plus 1. OK, so we have to look. How many times does 2x squared go into 2x to the fourth? Well, it goes in x squared times. Because if we multiplied 2x squared by x squared, we would get 2x to the fourth. Okay, so we do x squared times 2x squared. That's 2x to the fourth. Then we do x times x squared, so that's plus x cubed. And then x times one, x squared times one is x squared plus x squared. Okay. Rack this off. Okay. So two x to the fourth minus two x to the fourth is zero. 7x cubed minus x cubed is going to be 6x cubed. Two x squared minus x squared is going to be just one x squared or plus x squared. Okay, let's bring down the two x. Bring down the minus 3. Okay. Now we have to ask ourselves, how many times does 2x squared go into 6x cubed? Or what do we have to multiply 2x squared by to get 6x cubed? Well, if I multiply it by 3x, I'm going to get 6x cubed. 3x times 2x squared is going to be 6x cubed. We want. Okay. 
And 3x times x is going to be plus 3x squared. And 3x times 1 is plus 3x. All right. So 6x cubed minus 6x cubed is 0. Uh, we're, gonna, we're, we're subtracting this whole quantity. Um, x squared minus 3x squared is going to be a negative 2x squared. Uh, 2x minus 3x is a minus x. We're going to bring down the minus 3. Okay, now we have to look, how many times does 2x squared go into negative 2x squared, or what do I have to multiply 2x squared to get negative 2x? Well, if I multiply it by negative 1, I'm going to get negative 2x squared. Negative 1 times 2x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 1 is just negative 1. So we're going to subtract this off. So negative 2x squared minus a negative 2x squared is 0. Negative x minus. Uh, a negative x is 0. And then negative 3 minus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 is our remainder. Because now 2x squared cannot go into negative 2. So negative 2 is our remainder. And our quotient is up top here. That's x squared plus 3x minus 1. Check our work. And we've got some energy points. It's a good day. Um, this is example one. I'll do example two in another video. Um, thank you for watching. If you have questions, leave comments in the comments below. Otherwise, have a great day.